Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Remnants of the Rift. This game came out in early access uh, maybe a week or two ago. I got a key from, uh, I believe, the dev or the publisher. Either way, thank you very much. I really appreciate you, bud. Um, let's jump into this. I can't tell you much about what this game is. I, I, I've kind of kept myself blind. I, I know it has traditional roguelike vibes, but maybe not even that. But hey, we can move around. Let me get the mouse cursor out of there. Choose your movement layout. Oh, I see. So we can do do it like this. Okay, I think I prefer this. That makes sense to me. So left is up in a way. Almost wish that there was maybe like a slight tilt. I know that's not easy to do this late in the game, but okay, Morgan, phew, a break at last. Are uh, you tired already? Easy for you to say that, laying on your ass back there. Hey, I resent that. I'll have you know, sitting on the floor for hours can be quite taxing on the body. Uh, right. Well, I'm gonna stay on my toes then. Don't want to hurt myself sitting down for too long. Press A to use your skill and B to cancel. Rift round. Shoot and damage the first enemy on sight. Use L, uh, LB and RB to cycle between your skills. All right, so that's got a two second. Oh, huh. Wait, what? It's got a cooldown, but are we? Oh, I see. I got to use it. Shoot and damage the first enemy on site. So I have to use it and then move. I kind of don't understand what is happening. Okay. So that's on cooldown. We have aim. Dash through enemies while damaging them. Okay, so I, I did that. We can do aim again. Okay, I kind of under... What? What What? what just happened? You know that... You know what? You deserve that one. Whenever Morgan gets hit, you'll be penalized for a few seconds, so be careful. Um, I, I actually don't know if this is turn-based or action-based yet. <laughs> Shoot, the spicy one nicked the modulator. Oof, yeah, Raiders updated. It's not looking too good on my side. Careful there, Morg. It doesn't look like it'll take any more hits. Nah, it'll hold up. It's not doing that sparkly thing yet. Fine, don't come at me when you're the one doing the sparkly thing. Protect your modulators. Once its health drops to zero, it's game over. Um, okay. I thought that aim... It said shoot and damage the first enemy on sight. Um, it doesn't really seem to work that way. I thought maybe it worked like an overwatch. But you... you, I guess what the way it's saying it is you're just shooting whatever you can see. So this has got kind of a turn-based, action-based thing going on. So we have to use our uh, moves in kind of a... I don't know how to put it. Yeah, you can't... You, you have to line yourself... Oh, God. We are in danger of taking a damage on our modulator. Uh, I want to do... Okay, that's dart. Dash through enemies while damaging them. That's what I want, but it doesn't... Oh, I guess it's on cooldown. Shoot. All right. That worked out. There's not really any tactile sense of what I'm doing. I know this game's in early access, so it's, um, you know, not necessarily fair to criticize that, but it's like, I, I, there's like no sound effect or indication that I'm doing stuff. Did I take, take damage there? Still not getting the hang of sensing them. Sensing Imagine um, is not the norm. I'm still amazed that this is a thing you can do. Maybe you should ask Juno more about that. Maybe. Oh, uh, what's this? Speaking of her, Morgan Powell est of my pals. I've scattered around sweet mods for your limbs. You should know how to equip them. I feel you might be making faces while reading this. Best, but I assure you that uh, you know how to install them and it's not catch on fire. It will not catch on fire. My goodness, my reading comprehension right now. The rest of the note is mushy. Sounds reassuring enough. Um, mods are special items that allow you to customize your skills. 
quick charge general mod reduce cooldown by 0 0.25 seconds uh let's put that on dart dart seems like uh, the better of the two skills for now well i'm not doing the sparkly thing where to now thomas special mod select next branch branch a Yeah, I, I, I guess uh, sound effects or something we'll, we'll see later um, in development, but um, it's, it's kind of odd to be doing a bunch of stuff and not have any effects for it. Morgan, why don't you try that technique Jono taught you recently? Oh yeah, I should practice it more on real targets, right? Yeah, I can do that. Use pulse to stun your enemies and buy yourself more time. Okay. Um, is this pulse? It is. So you, you can move in real time uh, and even take your turns in real time, but the enemies seem to move in turns. Okay, why can't I do this? It seems to me that it won't... Oh, I, I guess I don't have enough room, so I have to do rift rounds instead. If I want to do dart, then I have to make sure I have the space. Good to know. Everything's on cooldown, so I just gonna put some space between me and them. Um, let's do a rift round. Oh, okay, so they're about to do a special move, so I want to do pulse to stun them. And then we're gonna do... Um, well, we don't have anything actually, so I'm just gonna wait. Okay, it's kind of novel to... Um, be able to like have such flexibility on your moves like it, it's novel to be able oh whoa that seemed to kill everything to like you you, you like it, it almost feels overpowered but i don't mind that it's kind of nice not having to feel like so limited okay we we're not in a good way there i don't know what those were on the ground there i thought that maybe they were traps I should have, uh, I think the, these things explode. Yeah, they explode, so I, I, I could have damaged it and done some extra damage to this guy here. Let's go ahead and pulse them. And that way I can, um, maybe I can dart this guy. Oh god. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of getting the feel of things here. Okay, so I, I uh stun them it's a little bit jarring i will say trying to keep an eye on like my moves like trying to plan my moves while i'm like mostly focusing on uh dodging around and then also keeping an eye on the enemy and what they're doing hey look juno left another note note 0004 of why'd she make so many will not catch on fire again i left some super special ones here and they're Two, my newest specialty i mean the last one worked fine so this one should be okay too that's the spirit morgan maybe only modify each skill with a special mod once per run so choose carefully may you choose one mod for equipping pulse shot um target will be pulled towards morgan one tile after being hit um pulse shot oh i see or rebel pulse Adds knockback to the attack and three more tiles of effect around Morgan. Yeah, I mean, this seems good. Select next branch. Efficiency mod, assault mod, or a utility mod. All right, let's try assault mod. So I guess we've got like roguelite uh, vibes going on here. Good luck uh, job out there. I, I thought maybe some traditional roguelike, but I, I'm super wrong about that one. You'll be schooling the rest of your colleagues in no time. Well, I'm done with my request. Let's head back home now. Thomas, are we doing this again? You've been skirting around this for over a month already. I'm telling you, you're more than ready to start exploring deeper into the vast. Far less capable mercenaries are doing it, but they've been at this job for longer and sucking at it. Come on, I've got to push on your buttons or you'll never try it. Fine. Just if, uh, don't worry, I'll be right there next to you. I mean, well, not next to you because I'm outside that dimension, but okay, wh what are we doing? <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Likely now, because they're coming at you. Look lively, I see. 
You may now obtain different currencies after finishing a layer. Um, Piranha can be used at the store to obtain miscellaneous items. Techno Junk can be used at the forge to improve your skill mods. The game kind of reminds me of... Um, trying to remember the name of that it was i think a traditional roguelike i'm gonna have to it's gonna be really bugging me now give me a second i always i always do this i have to like it reminds me of a of a game but i can never remember the name and so i have to like stop everything to figure out what it was um ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let me guess it's not going to appear here right Mm. Um. Yeah, I did an entire series on it. I didn't finish it. It was a really difficult game. It wasn't like Sproggy wor uh, work, but it was like space themed. Like it, it was space and also kind of um, dimensional themed. Oh uh, yeah, it's just like super not appearing. What if I type in last 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 try here? Rogue like instead of traditional roguelike. I guess um, maybe it doesn't have a traditional roguelike tag. Yeah, it's just like super not appearing. That's annoying. Why isn't it appearing? Space and roguelike, how could it not appear? And of course, if I type in roguelike, I have like a bajillion roguelikes. Um, all right, well, I think I have delayed long enough and yet I still delay. It's really going to bother me. Yeah, I can't find it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I did a series on it and it was hex based, but it was, um, I think it was turn based. What do you mean I'm dead? What do you mean I died? I don't really seem to understand what, uh, w when I take damage. Okay, I darted. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I won't lie. Rift round. We'll do some damage. We'll uh, stun them. So I think that these moss. Uh oh. Move. Oh no. The moss uh, is a problem. You really don't want to be messing around with that. Oh god. So we want to damage th that and then um, pulse them so that we stun them. And uh, I'll go ahead and use a rift round to finish them off. Okay, I think I just lost. Yeah, that, that was bad. Mmm, oof. You've got to, really got to practice that fall. It's kind of hard to do that if your limbs short uh, short out, you know? Yeah, I could see that. Well, uh, let's get you somewhere comfier. Hey, Morgan. Uh, about back there inside the bast. I'm so sorry. No, don't be. that. It wasn't that bad. Exploring deeper didn't feel different from what we usually do. Can't say returning to our, our dimension is getting any easier. Sure wish these pr uh, prestes... What? Prosthesis were a bit more sturdy. Are we talking about her arms? At least, uh, less expensive. Actually, I, 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 uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna catch some Z's. Sure, I'll wake you up before we get there. So we, we definitely are going for some vibes in this game. Um, and I know that the game is early, but it, I, I will say that this game feels early. <laughs> um, evening, Cynthia. Hello, dearies. Um, this envelope is for the contract holder. Only you know. Uh, I believe the contract holder is busy right now. I actually, I will say, I'm really not a fan of the chromatic aberration on text. It's making it, it's really making it harder to read for zero benefit. I can see that, yeah. So if you will, um, if you find any credits missing, you know, what's up, uh, Morgan Deary? What are you implying? By the way, R&D's come up with a design for anti-Megan um, weaponry inside the Bast. Apparently it works by interrupting Prana flow around it momentarily, then exploding. 
I'm going to start skipping. Complete objectives from each faction to earn different rewards. Well, you can pet the dog in this game, so um, it, we, we know that it's a 10 out of 10, right? I can't believe you right now. Skipping that. Navigate between rooms using B. Okay. Missions and requisitions. Browse around for new acquisitions to improve your gear. Become the most prepared contractor of them all. Well, I'm still buying those mines. Skipping. Uh, spend credits to buy different upgrades to make your life easier while exploring the best. So here's your meta progression, I believe. We don't have enough um, prana. Oh, we can place mines that explode on contact to a maximum of two. Let's buy that. Except. Um, set up your gear and install your new upgrades for your new mission. Use your credits to buy your new skill and equip it. Um, so we do have an extra slot. So we... Sh wait, what? Choose a skill to swap or upgrade. Um, move skill. I don't want to move skill. I want to... Oh, I see. Slot A. What? Equip... Oh, okay. We have equipped it. Now we can upgrade if we want. Um, choose a skill to swap or upgrade. Shoot and damage the first enemy on site. So, but this costs me currency and I don't want to do that. You can equip four skills at the, at the same time. Remember to bring them all. Well, I'm really trying to do that, but honestly, this interface has given me a hard time. Okay, there we go. I have to select the, the mine. And for some reason, we've combined upgrade with swap at the same time. So hence why I was a little bit confused there. Set up your gear and install your new upgrades for your next mission. I do like the, the look of that workshop. We've gone for like a, almost like a 70s vibe. Um, missions. Here you can select your next mission and see its current rewards. Okay. Wait, what? This agreement is made between this contracting department and Morgan Lowry, Lowry, in which the contractor agrees to provide the following services. In exchange for the satisfactory services rendered to the client, the contractor shall be compensated as follows. I don't know what that means. Uh, we need to be a little bit more clear on uh, some of this information, I think. Um, okay, so we're going back into the BAST dimension. All right, I've got this. But try guiding me into calmer spots. I'll try my best. Though No promises, though. Your flashy moves seem to detract them in droves. What do you want me to do? That's how Juno taught me to do it. You could ask the twins to teach you some human moves. Ish, no way. We can keep doing it this way. Okay. Um, we've got that balloon type dude. So we can, uh, we should be able to shoot them. Yeah, and kill both things at once. And um, these guys take two shots, but we can pulse them. Actually, let's um, set a mine. Okay, the mines hurt you. I don't like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if this uh, is if this game is doing it for me. I am I'm struggling a little bit with it. It's something about like. Um, trying to keep an eye on both my moves, like my positioning and what the enemy is doing all at the same time. That feels, um, awkward. So they, that should, yeah, explode. Okay, we're, we're good there. We can set some more mines. I wish the mines didn't hurt me. I wish that they didn't affect me, but that's fine. Can I dash over them? That would be nice. Let me see if I can dart over them. Okay, I can at least do that. That's that's nice. Let's pulse this guy and then um, we can't set a mine like right on them, but we can put it nearby. And I think it's probably a good idea to like set up a bunch of mines and then, you know, that way we, we have a sort of advantage, a field advantage. Branch cleared. Choose a skill slot. Reduce cooldown. Um, let's do rift rounds this time. I'm seeing the benefit of rift rounds for sure. Select next branch. Techno junk, efficiency mod, or prana. Let's, I'll take prana. 
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I don't like this moss. But that's fine. Um, these guys seem to be pretty fast. But the good news is that they um, only have one health. Okay, and I, one thing I, I will say I appreciate is that um, the enemies are pretty predictable. This is going to hurt me, but that's fine. It, it's also going to kill everything else on the field. I, I, I will say that it doesn't seem to be too much of a penalty for death. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, let's put a um, mine here because we can see that, that they're, they're pretty much heading in that direction. And then I'm going to shoot this lad. Um, and I'm going to try... Oh. How did I... Da I, I don't understand how... Like, they usually telegraph what they're going to do, but those guys seem to explode instantly when they feel like it. Remember to spend your prana before finishing a mission. Okay, so let's take... Um, um, an efficiency mod but hey I, I made it a little bit farther so i must be getting a little bit used to the combat let's throw down a mine i like the mine because it you know i can kind of set it and forget it rift round so that thing has a like it's, it's like almost a artillery Let's just kill it dead, and then um, let's... Oh god, I walked into the moss. I don't like the moss. <laughs> let's set up a mine. And let's shoot this thing. There we go. Actually, we get to keep the mine. May as well throw down a mine um, near the mod whenever I can. Do the, do the rift rounds um, go through enemies? Hard to tell. I'm trying to okay we're gonna we're gonna pulse and then i want to throw down a mine here actually i'm kind of overthinking this for sure let's just like rift round because that they'll both explode okay that was easy 25 percent chance of not triggering a cooldown when defeating an enemy um let's do dart because i'm more likely to kill enemies with that i think we'll take prana i wonder if the artillery units can just like shoot at my mod because that would suck okay we've got bigger enemies now let's throw down a mine just right away that's going to do some damage um we can pulse them and then we'll dart and then we'll um rift round okay so I'm getting, like I say, I'm getting the hang of things. Throw down a mine right away. I'll do some damage. Actually, it didn't seem to do any damage. Um, but I, I think that they, this guy's got like some, he had like an extra health thing going on. Let's uh, rift around and I'm going to go ahead and throw down a mine right there. Okay, um, we can pulse them. You know what? Let's pulse them before they finish that move. And then the, the pulse is nice because then we can just like set up some mines and shoot them from afar. There we go. Killed. Uh oh, wait. Um, we want to, I guess it's a, not a terrible idea to protect the mod by using our selves. Yeah, but that's okay. Uh oh. Ah. So the the mod took some damage. We can see in the top right uh, corner how much damage or how much health the modulator has. But I'm uh, hoping that there's a recovery forgiveness here. Um, I don't think we have any moves off cooldown right now. Okay shoot and we've we've done it um let's see if the modulator gets any health back three plana prana sorry branch reward remember to spend your prana before finishing a mission on what i okay twin store there we go we can spend the prana on twin store 
Uh, greetings, Morgan. This is Corda and Phila. Say, we've heard some comments about you these last few weeks. Don't look so nervous there. It was nothing bad. On the contrary, it's some been good reviews. It, however, seems to be you're rather tardy on reporting back to them. Still, your current clients are willing to overlook these quirks of yours. Do try to get back to them sooner, and, uh... We might have a chance to talk about reducing your commission fees. For now, though... Would you be interested in a quick trade before returning to your mission? Sure. Recover a modulator charge. So it costs three to recover a modulator charge. Oh, God, that's... that That is really... I don't know why, but that just sucks the absolute life out of me. Because that just means you're going to be spending a lot of your rewards recovering damage instead of actually improving your run. And that just, to me, feels bad. Um, like, expanding your modulator charges costs five. Obtain a special mod. I don't have enough for that. Exchange prana for money. Recover a modulator. Two of these are the same, I see. So we're spending... All right, let's just expand our modulator charges. I have to assume that's the same as recovering one because then we can get one back. Wow, there's like nothing interesting in that store, I gotta say. None of that, none of those were felt like a benefit, to be honest. Even expanding our modulator charge is the same as recovering health. Like, it just is. Um, okay, we'll throw down a mine. That'll do some nice damage to these guys. And uh, we can't dart. So we'll dart now. We got another of these lads that... They, they seem to really like exploding without any warning at all. And it's very strange. Why didn't that... Why didn't that kill this guy? That really should have killed this guy. Okay, that was good. We'll kill this lad, and I'm just kind of waiting. I don't know. There's no reason to wait, except for, like, it gives me time to kind of figure out what I want to do. One core branch reward. Maybe Juno can use this for something. Juno's Forge. Okay, let's see what we can do at Juno's Forge. Is Juno a lizard person? Hello there. Hi there. Uh, hi. It feels like forever since I last saw you. Twas just a week, though. Well, it, feel, it felt like more. I had plenty of time to scatter my treats around. Speaking of, did you have a chance to try the one out? I did, yeah. Real nice stuff you crafted there. And? Did it explode? What? Your notes said it wouldn't. Ah, good, good. Juno, was there a high chance that they were going to? Because I would really, really like to not to have things catch on fire on me, right? I've had my full uh, fill of experiences like that. Nothing happened, though, so you're all good. Now, come on, give me your arm. I want to show you something cool. I'm actually going to look at the options at some point to see if I can turn that chromatic aberration off. Quick charge. Reduce cooldown. This is a free. A freebie. Um, or we can spend three things that I don't have to get this one, right? I can't get that one. Oh, I, I, I did a bunch of things that I, I, I have no idea what I just did. Oops. Um, yeah, that's, uh, very good. Let me look at the settings for a moment. Game filter off. How about that? Uh, I think that's better. I think that is better. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna... Oh, God, this guy's got three health. Um, yeah, this is bad. They're, they're gonna kill me for sure. Oh, hold on. Pulse, you... Stop! Okay, yeah... That's going to be the end of the game for sure. Because I can't make it to them in time. Dart. And now I'm down to one health on the modulator. Oh god, we have two of these lads at the same time. Okay, hold on. Um, 
I wanted to to throw the mine down. Let's just uh, pulse them, and then um, I don't want to dart because then I'm gonna be in this stupid bramble. Rift round. Uh, they don't. I don't know why they how they get like a freebie health. Oh, they're gonna kill me for sure. Um, let's try and pulse them. Dart. Um, rift round. And I just have to... Nope, they're, they're still gonna win. Or kill me. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Okay. Alright. Um, I know that this game is early. But I honestly don't think that even um, fully polished this, would, this one would be for me. Uh, a lot of systems here just kind of uh, rub me the wrong way. And in, I think in some form, in an, in an accessibility way, but also I just I just don't like it. I don't think I'm 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 into the uh, the flow of the combat. I don't know. Um, I, it would be very presumptuous of me to to even like suggest things. Uh, I don't think I would want to do that because like I don't. I think that literally the what they're going for or what the devs are going for on this one is something that I would not end up enjoying in any way. And I know that sounds mean, but I'm like, uh, I mean it in a very subjective way. Like, I don't think that this is a game I would find myself enjoying. Something about the real-time and turn-based uh, tactics of it feels... Um, they, they really conflict for me. Like, I like to take my time to think about it, and you can sort of do that but um certain things seem to happen instantaneous some certain things um are are left to kind of a, a faux turn-based thing um but either way it doesn't feel good to me and i like you know in that last instance i all i could do is watch myself lose because i you know my 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 turns even though they are in real time are uh since they have cooldowns they're still kind of taking like it's still sort of like taking turns so i had spent basically all of my actions i couldn't do anything else and all i could do is watch myself lose um i'm not sure what i would do think how i would do things differently and in that respect i don't actually know if there's th that much depth in the strategy like there's not really like outside of maybe using your moves to to do damage to multiple enemies at once which you know is a strategy but um like manipulating that situation i don't think is very interesting at least not to me and when it comes to like just having one big you know damage sponge enemy on the board there isn't really a lot you can do tactically speaking to uh leverage uh or you know or give yourself a, an added advantage maybe i set up my character wrong but either way um yeah i don't know maybe i have uh, just like i've been burnt out a little bit by this type of roguelike um, I will say at least it doesn't, well, I guess it sort of does, but it doesn't have the same kind of like road tree in terms of selecting um, your missions, but maybe that's something they'll add later. <laughs> now that sounds mean. I'm sorry about that. But uh, anyway, I don't know. Maybe you can let me know like what, what did I do wrong here? Maybe, maybe I have things, uh, you know, I don't have the game fully figured out or maybe I don't fully understand it, um, you know, or I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Tell me what to, what you think of it. Maybe you've played Remnants of the Rift and, and you have a better idea of, of what kind of game it is than I do. Um, but either way, if you did enjoy this um, video, definitely take a, a, you know hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.